Hey, bunny rabbit. What you doing? What you doing, bunny? What are you doing? Just stumbled across a little white bunny rabbit and um, I don't think he's indigenous to the allotment site um, because they're proper rabbits. This is a little uh, domestic bunny. I don't know how he's got here, but he's cute, aren't you? You after my carrots? Aren't you? You after my carrots? Well, I don't think that cute little white rabbit came out of this hole, do you? I think this was made by one of its um, wild brethren. And I think they've probably come from the trees that are about 30 metres to the south of me. And it's tunnelled up through our nice soft soil onto the fruit allotment. And I dare say it'll be nibbling our strawberry tips out before too long. So, not a welcome sight. But it's not the only visitor that we've had either on the allotment in the last week or two. And when I say the rabbit wasn't the only visitor, we've also had a, a tiny little visitor in the top greenhouse. I don't know if you remember, but I kept my seed potatoes beneath this trestle table arrangement here. And they were sprouting nicely. And I came in, I don't know, maybe a week ago, and something had had a nibble at one of the potatoes, one of the seed potatoes and I thought oh well that's not so bad, I'm not going to worry about that and I came in this morning and it had nobbled about six so I've moved the seed potatoes into the next greenhouse down it's about the right time really to do that because as you can see to the right I've brought the tomato seedlings down and it's only six days ago that you saw these in my kitchen and there was barely anything to be seen and as you can see now they're all getting leggy and they got a little bit battered as I walked down onto the site uh, about 30 minutes ago because there was a bit of a breeze up at the top of the site and I tried to shield them but a couple blew over but they're going to get buried deep anyway and that's my job for this afternoon I've got to prick those out and put them into the one litre pots I'm in the middle greenhouse now and this is where I've put the seed potatoes. I've just popped them in a corner and hopefully that little mouse won't be able to smell them from the top greenhouse. I've also brought the onion sets down to the middle greenhouse and I've popped these for the time being on the bottom of the workbench and they just fit nicely under there and again over this last week because it's been a little bit milder we can see that there's even more green tops now on that first batch of caravel pink onions most of them now are showing some green the others the red baron and the santero well they've uh, not really shown any signs of growing yet but the first batch they're well on the way Well, I think we can safely say that spring's finally arrived and the lettuce leaf has really responded over this last week. It's been a little bit warmer, but we've had much brighter days and you can see how the, the leaf's shot up. It doesn't need much time and the tray in front of us, these are all cut and come again, lettuce leaves. And the tray in front, that's probably six or seven centimetres high now and the other two are about five centimetres. The radish has started to grow as well and the beetroot. The beetroot's still on the, the small side but it's it started and it's alive and uh, we'll, we'll get that perhaps popped into um, modules because I uh, initially had planned to use that for leaf but it's been so slow in coming um, that I might try and just plant that out maybe in little clumps onto the no dig border. So the lettuce leaf looks great and my leeks all germinated as well 
there aren't that many there might only about 80 so I might need to sow some more and the spring onion have started to grow as well so we are expecting some more poor weather and possibly a little bit of snow in the coming week but hopefully that'll just be a, a short interruption to uh, increasingly milder weather Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Easter Sunday, hope you've had a good week. Um, I've had a heavy week at work, it's been really busy and I've not been able to get down to the plot. But I wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway because it's been really wet and really cold. Each day's been wet and it started with temperatures of about 2 degrees, 3 degrees. Today it's 3 degrees and uh, it's 11 o'clock now. And um, I might have a smile on my face because I'm glad to be back down on the plot but it's pretty depressing really the weather um, the ground's saturated I can't do anything really in the ground this time last year I'd got my first earlies into the ground um, I think I'd sown my first parsnips as well and uh, possibly even some carrots um, but but this year I'm still in the greenhouse um, I'll show you what I've what I did uh, last week because in the last clip you saw that I brought the tomatoes down and they needed pricking out well that's been done now and I've got some more pricking out to do today and some potting on so we'll get on with that and I'll, uh, I'll show you how things are going okay catch you later well as you can see the tomatoes were pricked out and potted on and they've survived this last week I had my doubts because the forecasters had predicted some cold weather and we had about minus two during the night but they seem to have braved that okay and the bubble wrap really helps and I've got a couple of layers and it's just like a little tent really I've got um, a plastic coated wire that runs from one side to the other and it's just draped over the bubble wrap and um, it really does seem to protect the plants I've about 50 and there are still a couple in the middle here you might be able to see them uh, that have to be pricked out because they were a little bit too small uh, last week whereas the rest of them they, they were ready to go and as you can see they're all doing quite well and the compost has settled a little bit so the leaves are not sat just on the surface well actually they were when I finished and that's really what you should be aiming for to get your your roots buried as deeply as possible because that makes for a stronger plant because hairs grow up the, the stem and establish uh, a stronger root system. The compost incidentally is just a multi-purpose compost mixed with I would say probably about a third John Innes number one and that's just to give it a little bit of a drainage. Um, as you can see I brought my chilies down and they're getting a little bit leggy so that's my job for this morning and then this afternoon I may do some more sowing um, but for now that's it um, I think I'm gonna have to leave um, leave you now <laughs> um, I have a little bit of pricking out to do as I say but there's there's very little that I'm going to be able to do outside the ground is absolutely saturated and far too cold as I, as I mentioned earlier it's about three degrees and I, I've not tested the soil but it's got to be around about the same temperature I would say it's certainly um, not warm enough to be doing any sowing or to turn it it needs to be turned leveled raked um, and then <sighs> sown into um, and I can't see that happening probably for another week to ten days so uh, it may be the middle of April this year before we get as first earlies in and our first parsnips and carrots which is a pity um, but with plenty to do in the greenhouses so um, we'll carry on and uh, hopefully we'll still have a good season um, and if the forecasters are right and they have been so far we might end up with quite a, a warm uh, summer 
So I'll catch you later. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.